My name is Otro. Today on Spiders Reviews, we're going to take a look at Transformers Combined Wars Off Road. The replacement member of the Decepticons who replaced a terrorist named Wirewire. Yeah, I don't understand why they replace a truck with a car with a truck is kind of confusing. The Animots did that too. The Animots and the Pentactobots do. Yeah. Replace members too. The Capaticons are in. Blast up stuff, change old modes. And see in vehicle mode, he is a nicely done pickup truck. With his very nice. He's got 90s esque lines on the truck. He has ruby red windows. He can row. And he's pretty nice. As for accessories, you got his battle axe, which is kind of weird that a truck has an axe. Anyway, all his, his makes sense for first aid, his repaint re two. For iron, his not a repaint re two. Doesn't make sense. He also comes with the hand foot gun, which has a connector between the middle finger and the ring finger. And you can plug it that there. The axe you can plug whatever to. He also comes with a comic. And this comic is actually the debut appearance of Prostator. So yeah, this is the one where Real Jack dies and all that. Unlike last time I did a review of of a character, which is kind of weird. But anyway, for size comparisons, here is next to Drax Strip in Silverbolt. He is kind of bigger between side between Drax Strip, but it's not as big as Silverbolt. Because he's a truck, you can't compare to a racer car. A, I mean, a four low one racer and a various pentagon plane. But anyway, let's on with the transformation. <laughs> off-road in robot mode. As you can see, he looks kinda ruckish, if you want to call it. He's in grays, reds, teal, turquoise, whatever this color is. A little bit of purple, and his face is lime green. A little bit different from, from Wirewire's color scheme. I don't know, Ryder Ryder's face is red. Very nicely, very top heavy truck mood. They really try to make. And he's nice. Again, he has his axe so he can chop down Autobots. Especially if your teammates face their enemies known as the Aerial Bots and you think you can cut down a bunch of airplanes, but you can. And plus his rival is a helicopter, so you can't do that. But he is a nice figure for articulation. He can rotate 360 degrees, go up and down, and has side side movement. Arms can rotate 360 degrees, arms can forward. They can rotate in the bicep, bend on a nice plastic Ratchet joint. Race can rotate for sides of my move. Arms come, legs go forward. They go back. They do the passenger kick. Nah. They do, they do the rotation in the leg. Bends in the leg. And no ankle pivot or other bizarre enemies. So he's a nice figure overall. 
for a size comparison. Here he is next to Breakdown and Optimus Prime. And you see he is closely the same, not really the same height as Breakdown, but he's kind of closer than Prime. Because in the fact that because Offro is gonna is repainted has already been repainted already too as his old buddy on your height. Which is nice. But this is a nice scale of Henderson. So on to the final thoughts of this very off-roady truck guy. Off-road is a good figure overall. With some problems that I don't like. Like the fact that he has an axe. Rather than having a big weapon that is more appropriate for the Stunticons. And his reap, it makes sense for first aid. It doesn't make sense for Iron Hide. But he is a nice figure overall. He has, he's not Rider Rider. If you want Rider Rider, you can buy the, buy the expensive tube. You can buy the uh, original, you can buy the Combiner Wars version of Fire Rider. It's in another name, and he is not your expected. He says a repaint and a of Dead End. This guy is a completely new mode. The new guy is kinda not your standard Stunticon. There's gonna be some problems with you if you don't like new guys. If you don't like Albert Bravo, you don't want it. you can get slingshot. If you don't like Rook, you can get get the Tatara Tommy exclusive groove, which when and when it's gonna be released in America in the United States, we don't know. If you don't like the aircraft blast off, you can get the space shuttles blast off, even though space shuttles don't make sense! And this is the reason why the Constructicons are not been ignored. So, if you want to get this guy, you can get him. If you don't like him because he's not an Instanticon that you don't like and you hate it, the idea is there that the Instanticons had a, a, a pickup truck instead of a, another car, you can get the wire wire version. Anyway, this figure is a good figure. He is repainted and retooled as first aid of the Vitectobots. He is repainted and retooled without the weird thing as Ironhide for the Optimus Maximus raid, which possibly upcoming both be possibly upcoming reviews. He's also been repainted and retooled, repainted. Just straight up repainted for the upcoming T the Transformers Collector Series Scraper to Surface 4.0 Rockets for their for their Mayhem Attack Squad for their May Under Man repaint. Which is a stupid idea. I could just buy Ruckus. You can get Ruckus, but you can't buy a bunch of dollars for Bludgeoned. Anyway, this is kind of what I am trying to say for Combiner Wars in general. This is a new member. He's not your terrorist robot. He's just a robot with an axe. Anyway, this is my friend. See you until I did. And, and, um, since I, the Stunticons are already being covered in these reviews lately, does, does that mean Dead End is last? Kinda. But not in the moment because I need some playing! My Superbolt needs some of his Conrads. So, goodbye.